Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here, and I hope you're not afraid of heights because we're doing a 30,000 foot overview of the admissions process in Populi. We're looking at how someone moves from a prospect to enrolled, and this is from the administrative perspective. So this would be how the admissions staff conducts this. This is lower detail, so we're not going into the nitty gritty of where to click and all that. We'll link some related resources below that are higher detail. We're demonstrating this on a desktop, on a browser, but this could all be done logged into a browser on a phone or tablet. So we'll start off from the prospect. Somehow a potential student becomes a prospect. There are various ways this can happen, but a prospect submitting an online inquiry demonstrates most about how Populi works. For that to be possible, the admissions admin designs an inquiry and embeds it on the institution's public facing website, probably somewhere on your admissions page. Let's talk about design. You can customize inquiry forms and you can create different forms for different courses of study, or you might have a different form for different sources. You pass the embed code for a given inquiry form over to whoever administers the code for your public facing website. And they place that code on the site and it shows up for anyone who hits those pages. Potential students land on the website and find themselves filling out the form and requesting more information about the school. That generates an inquiry which flows back into Populi. It shows up on the inquiry table. You can filter the table to zero in on various sets of inquiries. The inquiries get assigned to admissions representatives. And that happens according to how things are set up over here in lead routing. Anyone who has either the admissions admin role or simply the admissions role shows up over here. And you can choose if they enter the pool of folks who get assigned inquiries or applications. An admissions rep gets an inquiry and they log in and they can see the inquiries assigned to them. The admissions rep, once they click into the inquiry, can now communicate with them via email or if they verified their number for texting, which they can do on the inquiry form, you'll have that option as well. That communication from within Populi here has this indicator, waiting for our response, waiting for them to respond or closed. And that also shows up out here on the inquiry table. This makes it easy for admissions reps to see what's on their plate. This is also the point at which these prospects will usually get a Populi profile. An admissions rep creates a profile for them based on the information in the inquiry. You have an opportunity to make sure that there's not an existing profile for this person. Maybe they've already been added as a lead by other recruiting efforts or what have you. This helps to avoid a bunch of duplicate profiles. Once an inquiry or anyone who enters the admissions process gets a profile, they also have a lead. That lead is set to active. Active leads are easily identified on the leads table by the active is yes filter. They're also now searchable up here in search. If we go to their profile, the admissions team is able to see their admissions tab with their lead info. They can email, text again if the lead has verified a text number, or they can even make an old fashioned telephone call. So the next phase, this kind of general recruiting phase is much more open, obviously, but it's basically about establishing a connection with leads and encouraging them to start an application. Populi enables some of that to be automated via our communication plans. You can create a communication plan that does various things such as send weekly templated emails to leads or assigns to do's. In the case of to do's, those might be assigned to an admissions rep and for instance, come up a couple days after an email has been sent to a lead and it would be a reminder that they need to check in about the last email. Also, it's good to mention that a leads activity feed tracks most things that happen on their profile. So the activity feed here helps the rest of the admissions team see what's happening on a given lead and reps can leave notes for each other here as well. Okay, it's showtime, it's the application phase. Like the inquiry, the application is designed by the admissions admin and then embedded on the school's public facing external website. The application design 
contains lots of options, different field types, essay fields, file upload fields, online references, conditional fields, all kinds of things. Once that application has been built and embedded on your site, potential students can fill it out and submit it. They gain access to the application by submitting an initial embedded form, that's what I call the application gateway, and then passing through into the application itself. Once they've begun the application, the admissions team can see an application show up on the applications table. They can see how much of the application they've completed and so on. The applicant receives an initial email when they begin an application, but the admissions rep can also resend the email if they need to. Because the admissions team can see the applicant's progress, the admissions rep assigned to that application can touch base with the applicant to prompt them to finish up. The lead itself also updates as the applicant makes progress. The lead status changes to application started and then to application complete once the application is finished and submitted. The applicant completes the application and can pay an application fee before they start the application or before they submit it. The evaluating phase. Once an application is submitted, the admissions team can work through it field by field. Anyone with the admissions or the admissions admin role can view the application and set fields to the appropriate status. If the admissions team set fields to either rejected or in progress, the applicant is able to revise their answer on that field. The admissions team is able to ask questions of the applicant and notify them via text or email. If the deciding body, and that's gonna be the group who's reviewing these applications, if that body contains anyone who's not a popular user, not strictly part of the school's staff, you're able to send read-only versions of the application to them so that they can review them. The accepted or declined phase. Once you reach a decision, you can set the final status of the completed application to either accepted or declined. If you accept the application, you're able to choose a few options, including granting the applicant the student role and user access, and you can send them a brief notification of their acceptance. The enrollment phase. Once you've granted the applicant the student role and user access, they're able to set up a password and log into Populi. Once they've logged in, assuming that you have online registration open for a relevant term, they can register for courses. When they log in, they'll see a notification informing them that registration is open. They can click there or they can navigate to their profile, to the registration tab, and enroll in courses there. Depending on your settings, it's possible for you to have things arranged so that when an applicant enrolls in courses, their lead status changes to enrolled and then switches to inactive. Inactive leads are easily excluded from the list of leads on an admission rep's leads table. So, enrolled students don't clutter up a rep's view. Evaluation phase. Populi's admissions also contains the funnel report. This allows you to easily see the stages at which you're doing well and where you could stand to improve. For instance, you could use the funnel report to identify that you're getting lots of inquiries, but have a low rate of applicants completing their application. Then you could come up with strategies for encouraging applicants to actually finish their applications. And then once you've implemented those, you'd be able to check back and see if it's made any difference. That's an overview of the admissions process in Populi that takes you from prospect to enrolled student. Check out related resources below, including a video that covers the same process from the student perspective. A great way to keep up with updates and improvements to Populi as a software is via our weekly release notes. Those go out on Friday and you can follow them in our knowledge base. To do that, when you're logged into Populi, click on help in the upper right hand corner Click search the knowledge base and then click release notes and announcements. Click on the heading for release notes and then click follow. You'll receive an email when we post release notes there and that'll keep you on the bleeding edge of Populi features and improvements. And the release notes are fun. Weirdly enough, lots of people say it's a highlight of their week. Yikes. I've been Josh for Populi and you've been great. Thanks for watching.